Hey guys, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create the perfect services page. Now this is a series to teach you the type of content that you should be putting on certain pages. Now if we break down a service page, they're actually quite simple. There are millions of different ways that you can design it, but the content that you see on the pages are typically all the same 99% of the time. Most services can be broken down into three main sections. One would be the title with maybe a little paragraph giving the user the overview of the page and the services you provide. The second section would be the list of services you actually offer. And then the third section at the bottom would be a call to action so the user can actually book a meeting or schedule a free consultation or just get in contact with you. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set that up. The first thing we're gonna do is come over to our pages icon and we're just gonna add a services page. We're just gonna call it services. Now, what I wanna do is just go ahead and add a strip and we're just gonna add a giant title. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and grab some text, pull it out, and we're gonna change the text to services. Next, what we're gonna do is go ahead and add a paragraph. And for now, I'm just going to paste in some lorem ipsum text, just like that. Now in this series, I really don't really focus on design too much, or I try not to. Sometimes I get carried away but we're really just gonna be focusing more on the actual content that you should be putting on the page. And before I get into the next section where we list the services you offer, let's just go ahead and create the call to action. So for this one, we're just gonna add another strip and I'm gonna go ahead and change the background to a nice gradient like this. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just copy this text down into here, just like this. And I'm just gonna say, schedule a free consultation. We're gonna center it up, make it white. And then just for design purposes, let's just go ahead and add a button that says book now. Now with these sections complete, now we can actually start listing our services. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a new strip. Let's go ahead and expand this strip down quite a bit to give us some room to work with. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is come over to the add button. We're gonna go to list and we're gonna go to blank repeaters. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just pull out this one right here that has a little bit of text in it. I'm going to expand it down a little bit, pull this text down to the bottom, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add an image. The image was a little bit bigger, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the text and bring it down a little bit more. Now, if you do not have many services or you don't have that much content to display here, then what you could do is just simply click on these and change this to service two, click on this and give a little more details about that service and change the image and call it a day. However, let's say you have a lot more services or you have a lot of details that you want to display somewhere on your site about a specific service. If that's the case, then we'll actually need to set up something called a database. And before we actually set up the database, let's just actually go ahead and expand this down a little bit. Let's go over here, grab a button. We'll pull this button out on the page. We'll change the text to learn more and we'll pull it right into the repeater just like that. Now it's actually time to set up the database. So what we want to do is come up to add. We're going to go down to content manager and press add to site. Now we can create our own services database from scratch, but for now, let's just go ahead and add their services template database. This process will create two additional pages on your website, and then it will open up the database. As you can see here, we have a database that is already pre-filled out with the Wix's default services so what i would do is you can just double click it change the title of the services you can change the price the display image the order the duration of this service or you can just delete this one if you don't want it you can have a service description and then these two we'll get to in just a minute but let's say you have more than six services if you want to add more you can easily just go to the bottom row add another service fill out the content right here but let's say eventually you want to delete one what you could do is come over here press this little 
icon right here and go up to delete. Okay, now we are done with the database. And if we take a look at the pages that the database created, it created one called title, which basically displays one specific service. And then it created a services all, which basically displays all your other services as a list. Now you can choose to use this as your services page if you would like. However, we have already created our own services page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete the services all page just like that. So I'm gonna go back to our services page right here. And now we actually need to link this repeater to our database. To do that, we're gonna come up to add, content manager, and pull out this data set. You're gonna notice a new icon on the page. This icon is only visible inside the editor. It's not visible on the live site. And it's only here so that we can actually adjust the settings for the database. So if we click on settings, we'll actually get to choose a collection or database, which right now we really only have this one that we created, which is services. And once we select it, we can go ahead and X out. Now what we want to do is come into this repeater. We're going to grab this image and say connect to data. What we want to do is connect this repeater to this services data set icon. So we're going to say services data set. And we want to connect the image to the image inside the database. So we should see all the images automatically change to the services from the database. Perfect. Next, we want to come over to this text and we're basically going to follow the same steps. We're going to make sure it's connected to the services data set. And we're going to connect this text to the title. We're going to grab this little text right here. And we're going to connect this one to the service description. Actually for this specific one, this is actually very long. So let's just go ahead and delete this one. Then what we want to do is select the button and we want to connect this one to the services title dynamic page. So basically what that's going to do is if we preview the site and we press learn more on professional makeup consultation, it should take us to the professional makeup consultation dynamic page. And you can see that in the editor as the services title dynamic page. Here is where you can actually display even more information or details about that specific service. Now, if you have a lot of details that you want to display here, make sure you come over to the content manager, go into the database and set new fields for that type of information. So let's say you want to create a field for previous projects. And if you set this field type to rich text here, you'll be able to list out the companies or projects that have used your service. And then what you could do is just come over to your dynamic page like this and make sure that one of your text elements, you might have to add a new one is connected to your previous projects, rich text field. The last thing I want to show you is let's say you primarily want to display certain services before the other ones. What you could do, if we click this data set and press manage content, we're gonna notice that in the database, we're gonna see one for order, which this property is set to a number. And as you can see here, all of the inputs are numbers and they are numbered one through six. If you do not see that, all you have to do is add a new one. You can just call it display order and make sure the field type is set to a number and you can create your own numbers if you would like. But for now, we're just gonna use order right here and we're gonna select this icon, press settings and we're gonna come down to sort. We're gonna add a new sort. We're gonna go to the order and we're gonna make sure it's low to high. So this should reorder our database just like that. The ones closer to zero are gonna appear first and the higher the number goes, the farther down it displays in the repeater. This is basically the services page. It is very basic, I know, because I didn't really focus much on the design aspect of it, but the three main components are here. We have a title, a little overview, we have a list of the different services, and then we have a call to action at the very bottom. 
that basically wraps it up for the video today guys if you guys did enjoy please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more wix content coming out really soon thank you all again and i'll see you on the next one Whoa.